Working on the front ends can be really annoying, focusing on alignment, UI, UX principles, and overall, it just feels like to make any progress with the front end, you have to have a deep knowledge on padding principles, some weird stuff like that. But what if I told you you can make your app look and run 10 times better without any expertise or any really sort of effort? That is exactly what I will show you how to do in this video with these four UI tips. The first UI tip is to work on the color scheme. And you'll notice throughout the video that these are very easy, but very powerful. And look, as new developers, it's quite obvious that you're a new developer just by the way your site looks or just feels. You have a bunch of different colors. It looks really bad. We don't want that when building good UI and good applications. And look, you don't have to be a pro to have a cool color scheme or looking colors. It's, it's really easy. And one of my favorite tools for that is coolers. I think that's what it's called. And so what this will do, you can, there's, there's a bunch, these guys don't sponsor me, but it will help you find out what sort of palette you want in your app. And look, most of us will just wanna eyeball it, but using a tool like this or just having a color scheme to go by will just make the development process so much easier. And it guarantees that it will be appealing to the people that are looking at your app. Now this one's like the dumbest one out of the bunch. The rest are gonna be like actually very, very applicable, but just go to some color palette platform Look at this all black, but go to a color palette platform, find one that appeals to you, change it up a bit if you don't really like it too much and go with that. It'll just save you a lot of time. Like this one's really cool. And these three look really good together. Like I can see a world where this is the text, um, this is the background and maybe like for, I don't know, uh, buttons and cards, we have a blue. And you may be saying right now, this are the color scheme. That's really simple. Everyone knows this color scheme. You know, we have to make it look good. Give me some actual examples or tips that will actually help me with my UI. And one of the most underrated and best things you can do in your applications to just make the user experience and UI look amazing is to add loading and skeleton states. And look, before you click off this video because it, it doesn't really make sense, here's what I mean by this, okay? Let's say here we have our uh, video where we wanna display something to the user. So we refresh the page, the user's coming in, you can see that there is a slight delay with the video loading. You know, there's that pause over there where there's nothing there. On the other hand, if we add some sort of skeleton for it to load, it will just make the user experience on your apps and just make your app look 10 times more professional. And all I had to do was just go to a UI library like um, Next UI or Shats in UI. I'll even just show you. If you go to the skeleton down here, they have an installation process and you can just implement it um, over here. And all I had to do was just implement it into the loading state. And as you can see here, right, it's very subtle, very easy to do, but it makes the difference with the loading states. And I don't know what I hate about it. Maybe it's just because I'm a developer, but I just hate when the screen is empty when something is loading. I always want the users to know what is going on and actually goes into our next one and I'll, I'll talk about it in a bit, but I always want the users to know what is going on in the apps so that they don't get confused. We don't want our users to get confused. And by having some sort of indication telling them that some sort of data is coming or something is loading, it makes the user experience a lot better. And you know what? Instagram does this really good. You'll see the loading states in a bit. Look at that. The use, it just looks great. See how all the data is loading and then it comes around? That's what we want. Data coming in, data comes in. So trust me, it's a little bit more effort to implement, but if you're new, this one, I just wish I learned it earlier. Now the third UI trick that you can implement kind of goes hand in hand with the second one, but it's notifications. Again, our goal as developers on our apps is to make things as simple as possible for our users. So like we don't have to explain many things and especially in full stack apps. I, I know you watching this are probably developing either front end apps or just getting into full stack apps. It takes some time to load data and we need to tell the user that what they are doing has resulted in a change coming or success or failure. And so I'm just gonna go to the admin page here and I'm gonna show you what I mean. So let's say we, I'm releasing this free Stripe payment course that is coming out by the time you're watching this. If I enter a video link here, right? If a user wants, let's say the, the user is using this and he wants to enter a video link, I don't just, I don't want this just to load and them not know what happened. So when we click this, we get a notification. And look, I know what you're thinking. Like it's it's very silly that we're doing this. Like why do we want a notification? But it just adds an extra layer 
to the app for the user. I just, I personally like when there's notifications. It makes it nice and it's very easy to implement. Like there's almost no effort involved. For example, you can go to next UI or you know what? Again, we'll just go to chat CN because that's more popular. Let's zoom in a little bit here and let's go to our toast notifications. They're mostly going to be under toast uh, notifications here. So you just follow the installation process over here. And then when managing the uh, try catch blocks and the data, rather than console logging an error or a success message, you just do toast.success and then whatever message you want in there. And I just think as a new developer, these are the things that you can implement to at least make it, your app look a little bit better because you know it, it does take some time to get really good at UI and improve and, and get everything down. But by having these little things like the color scheme, the loading states and notifications, and then the fourth thing that we'll talk about, it makes the users perceive that it's better than what it is. And so let your users know. This one's very important. And you know, as developers, we know our app through and through. Like I know what's gonna happen here when I click on add, but a new user will not know that. They will not know it because they never touched it, but you spent 30 hours on the application. So just let them know, it doesn't have to be everywhere but just put it some places. It's, it's a cool thing to have and a cool addition to your applications. Now the final UI trick uh, that you can implement into your uh, UI and front end is icon consistency. So there are two types of icons, you know, generally. There are filled icons where they are very bold, you know, filled in, or there are quite thin icons where it's more of a sleek touch. In addition, you can color them, right? Like you can have like a blue icon, a red icon, whatever it may be. You can color your icons in your applications. And what I constantly see developers do and what I tend to do, we mix both the colors and the type of icon. And one really easy thing you can just do is stick to one type of icon. Color wise, you can probably do two. And actually here's a good example. Here I have a white icon and here I have a black icon. But as you can see, they are the same type of icon. They are not that filled. They're more of a unfilled type of icon. And throughout my whole app, you can see that that is the case. And you're not seeing me have like a blue icon here on this button and then a white one here and then orange one here. You're seeing a consistent look throughout the app. Even here in the uh, search functionalities, you can see all the icons look the same. Now the Discord one is uh, filled, but it's just a Discord logo. Maybe I have to fix that. And as you can see throughout the whole app, it's either unfilled, black or white. So just stick to that and it'll just make your app a lot nicer. And generally you could just go to an icon library, pick the stroke width, go to one you like, like this one over here, and just copy the consistency of it through the thickness that you'd like. But yeah, these are the four main UI tricks that you know you can easily implement. Again, these are very easy to do, but I think that's what we're trying to aim for. Simple, easy, yet hard hitting, you know, but these are just the main ones I like to do. Uh, the color scheme, I, I, I just found very helpful with just building out the app. The loading states, which is just absolute game changer with data fetching, you know, just know what's going on. Um, you also have notifications where you want to let your users know what's going on with their buttons. And finally, uh, icon consistency. You have a consistent flow and look to the icons in terms of colors, fillness or unfillness and uh, look and feel. And by the way, if you wanna join the Discord developer group, I will leave that down below. We have everything there from best people in the world to very nice people. <clears throat> and you know, it's just a place for developers. So if you are a developer, you want a group, you want people to talk to, have fun, uh, get feedback on your own projects. You know, it's just an awesome place for us developers because you know, we're like a nice group of people. <clears throat> if you like the video, like the video, happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.